Hello and welcome to Charger Games, my name is Raja and this is another c -sharp tutorial for Unity game development. So in the last video we have learned everything about functions. So if you haven't checked that, I recommend you to check that out because it was a very important topic, function. So in this video we're gonna take an, take an example or take an application of function and we're gonna learn how to destroy a game object. Okay, so let's get started. So Unity has given us some functions that we can call since we are actually in the first video or in the second video I have discussed that we are actually inheriting from this mono behavior class. So everything inside this mono behavior we have access to everything that is inside this mono behavior. So like that there's a function called destroy. So what that does is this function whenever this function gets called anything we tell it to destroy it just goes and destroys that from our game so let's go and take a look at how it is done so in the start function I'm gonna write DESTROY destroy and then I'm gonna open the parentheses and as we have learned in the last video that inside a function we can actually pass some parameters so as you can see here this destroy functions as the first parameter it takes the it takes an object and in this case we're gonna pass a game object make sure you put the smaller game object because uh, make sure the G is small this game object is the game object with which this script is attached okay so whenever we are attaching the script to any object that object can be accessed by using this game object okay so right now this game object means to whatever the script is attached and then if you press if you write a comma here you can see that we have the ability to write we have the ability to pass multiple parameters so inside a function we can also pass multiple parameters so as the first parameter is it takes an object and as the second parameter it takes the time after which we want it to be destroyed so suppose I want the cube to be destroyed after 3 seconds so I just write 3F and then just close it and give a semicolon so what this is doing is this will destroy my game object to which the script is attached after 3 seconds have been passed from the time it has been called so we are calling destroy in the start function though so the game is getting called so this is getting called at the start of the game so the time we start the game just after three seconds this thing will destroy the game object with which this is attached so let's go and test that out so first of all previously we have actually attached the script to this game object so let's go and deactivate it just selecting it and from the hierarchy just clicking on it it is not checked that means it's not activated so now I'm gonna create create 3D object oh, let's go and create a cube let's scale it a bit okay so now I'm gonna attach this script to this cube and so select the cube add component scripts test script so what will happen is this test script has been attached to this cube and after some time it's gonna destroy it after three seconds it's gonna be destroyed so let's go and play it wait one two three boom as you can see that the cube gets destroyed just after three seconds since we have passed three as a parameter here so this is the basics of how we can destroy uh, anything anything in unity we'll learn more about how we can destroy more game objects because here we have learned only how to destroy this game object later on we'll learn how to destroy different kind of game objects and we can call this destroy function wherever you want I have called it from the start since I just want it to be destroyed whenever the game gets started just after three seconds of that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something. Thank you very very much for watching and make sure to subscribe, like and comment if you have any questions. So like this video, subscribe to my channel and write a comment. So thank you very much and have a great day.